In this short video, I will be exploring the history of same-sex relationships in 14th century Florence, the period just before the Medici and the Renaissance. Firstly, the same-sex relationships that I'll be talking about cannot be compared to modern-day homosexuality in that, for most, it was a brief relationship, not a long-term one. Many Florentine men did not marry until they were 30. Before this age, some took part in such relationships, and notably, it was acceptable in society, although not to the church, of course. It is important to dispel the myth that because rights have improved so drastically in the last century, they must have been even worse even longer ago. In Dante's Divine Comedy, written in the first part of the 14th century in Florence, he takes a remarkably liberal attitude towards same-sex relationships. In Canto 26 of Purgatory, Dante writes about both same-sex and opposite-sex lovers on their way to paradise. In other words, he does not view homosexuality itself as a sin, only sexual activity in excess. Dante does describe some same-sex lovers in hell, in Cantos 15 and 16 of Inferno, but he describes them in a favourable light. Dante's liberalism reflects the societal customs at this time in Florence. When the Black Death hit the city of Florence in 1348, many of the influential religious figures in the city blamed prevalent sodomy for the destruction that the plague had caused. Around half the population had died. In 1365, just after the main wave of the plague had ended, new legislation was enacted which permitted death as a punishment for sodomy. The punishments given varied from case to case and ranged from a small fine to capital punishment. Whilst those under 18 were typically treated more leniently, this was not always the case. For example, in 1365, a 15-year-old boy, Giovanni di Giovanni, was convicted of sodomy, paraded through the city on an ass, publicly castrated, and then branded with a red-hot iron in that part of his body where he permitted himself to be known, in the biblical sense, in sodomitical practice. There was a societal custom that the receptive partner was younger than the active one. Giovanni most likely died from this punishment. After the 14th century, the persecution waned slightly. The period of cultural and artistic freedom promoted by the plutocracy by the powerful wealthy bankers encouraged a greater tolerance of same-sex relationships. However, in 1432, a special magistrate's office, called the Office of the Night, was created to prosecute people involved in same-sex relationships. Its records show how many relationships there were between men at this time. Thank you for listening to this short video. I'm going to leave you with two questions to think about. What historically has caused people to oppose same-sex relationships, perhaps religion or natural events? And what historically has caused people to support same-sex relationships, perhaps cultural and artistic freedom or societal movements?